Hey everyone, in this video, I will show you code implementation for a support vector machine with stochastic gradient descent. For this exercise, we are going to use the diabetes dataset from Kaggle. So I loaded the data and as you can see, the data contains seven decimal uh, features and a binary column that represent the labels. So one for diabetes and zero for no diabetes. Now for convenience sake, we change the labels to be one and minus one. It will allow us to express two constraints in one single equation later on. After doing that, y contains um, one for diabetes and minus one for no diabetes. Now let's plot the data and understand what support vector actually is. So this data contains more than two features. So I chose um, only two features to print just to get some perspective of the data. Um, as you can see, the red dots represent um, diabetes, while the blue represent no diabetes. Our goal is to find an IAPR plan that will separate those populations with a maximum merging distance from the closest observations. Now let's go over the implementation for support vector machine with gradient descent. So the initial function gets a learning rate, lambda and maximum iterations parameters. Inside the function, we also set the weights and bias to be none for now. And we also set empty lists for the training parameters that we are going to use to see if the training is going well. Now, the inch loss um, consists of classification and regularization terms. The classification term is uh, one minus uh, y multiplied by the dot product of x and w plus b. The regularization term is um, lambda parameter multiplied by the norm of vector w powered by two. Now the inch loss is the mean of the maximum of zero and the classification term plus the regularization term. So because we are implementing support vectors with gradient descent, we need to get the derivative for the inch loss. So first we get the derivative for um, the inch loss with respect to W. Um, so if this expression is bigger than one, uh, the derivative is going to be only zero. Um, otherwise, it's going to be minus y um, multiplied by x. And the derivative of the second part with respect to w is two multiplied by lambda and w. Now, the derivative of the inch loss with respect to b is zero if, um, again, this expression is bigger than one. Otherwise, it's going to be minus y. Now, let's go over the fit function. So our goal is to find weights and bias that will get us the maximum merging. So first, we initial um, w and b with ones. Now we iterate on the database uh, and then calculate the error for um, each um, feature vector and update the weights. Uh, now every 100 iterations, uh, we update the loss and accuracy list for training validation sets. And eventually this function returns um, the weights and the bias that it found. The predict function returns the sign of the dot product between the feature vector and the weights plus um, the bias. 
and we also have an accuracy function. Now uh, we split our data 80% um, for, for train and 20 for test. And then we train the model. After that, we can plot the accuracy and loss curves to see if it did a good job. So um, this is uh, the loss curve and this is the accuracy. So as you can see, the accuracy is not that high. I guess it's because we have a really small set. So that's it for now. Um, thank you for watching.